two, one. Hi, Hi. we're, we're Eco Suave. We're doing the invertebrate immune system. Uh, my name's Alex, and I'm doing the exoskeleton. My name's Clayton, and I'll be covering enzymes. My name's Alex, and I will be covering the pathogen recognition in the immune system. My name's Evan, and I'm covering the hemocytes. The exoskeleton is the first line of defense in the immune system of an invertebrate. The exoskeleton of invertebrates is made up of three main regions. The epidermis is responsible for the production of cells and secretion of various materials for the above cuticle. The epicuticle is, is the main waterproof barrier. This thin layer is unlikely to provide mechanical protection but may harbor antibacterial and or cyclitic activity to defend the insects from possible infections and parasites. The exocuticle is a hard protective layer to defend against physical and mechanical damage to the organ system. Insects mainly rely on their exoskeleton as a first defense against infection. However, when pathogens breach this barrier, they encounter several different defenses. Among these are hemocytes. Hemocytes are immunity cells that travel through insects' bodies in hemolymph. Some hemocytes break down foreign bodies using phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when a cell engulfs a particle and breaks it down. Other hemocytes release chemicals that kill pathogens and trap large invaders. Insect immune systems use recognition proteins to identify invaders and trigger these responses. Invertebrates use enzymes, specifically lysozyme, as a defense mechanism against pathogens. These enzymes are found in the digestive system. They break down the cell walls of bacteria. This acts as a chemical barrier against pathogens ingested with the food. Mosquitoes also have developed another defense barrier as part of their digestive system. This is the Siberial armatures. These teeth-like structures physically destroy pathogens as they enter the digestive system. It is most effective on metazoans such as roundworm and on bacteria and viral pathogens. All right, so now we're gonna talk about pathogen recognition in invertebrates. When foreign microorganisms invade an invertebrate, um, they're recognized by the immune system, by germline encoded pattern recognition receptors. These receptors respond to macromolecules that are composed of polysaccharides, amino acids, or sugars, and they act as identity tags for proteins that are released by these receptors to bind to and trigger an innate, an innate response from the immune system. And I know that sounds complicated, but you can think of it like a baggage claim. Okay, so each bag on the carousel has an identity tag, and you can imagine these recognition proteins are people, and when they spot their bag, they grab it and take it off the carousel, and they leave all the other bags spinning around and, and coexisting.